are going to the post office. Man, it's been a while since I've been in front of a camera, probably about a month and a half now. A lot's changed, been real dialed in. New car, kind of, long story. I think it's so cool that Grail has the buyer send shipping labels. I know I'm against it as a buyer, but as a seller, pretty sweet. Boom, just like that. How, how deep I want to get into this story time, but currently I am driving a 2023 A5 Sportback. Let's not get that confused for an S5 Sportback. Totally different things. I know it's just a one letter difference. I mean, it's still nice. It's a nice trim. It's a loner. Why are you driving a loner, Jen? Well, while I was in Korea, the OG's car window got smashed for no apparent reason. So I lent my car to the OG. Then <laughs> my car gets swiped in a parking lot. Insurance has been a headache, yada, yada, yada. Here we are, whipping the A5 sport back until further notice. I mean, that's just the reality of like living in Chicago. Every place you live in, it comes with its territories. As to why I picked this car, I had an opportunity to pick a Q7 or a Q5 or whatever. I have no business looking at JDM imports, but I have. And I have not driven um, a smaller vehicle since the Mini Cooper days. So I just wanted to experience driving a smaller car again, um, see if it's manageable if it's something that I can handle. Flirting with the idea, that's definitely something like further down the line. Welcome back to another pickups video. The format of this is going to be a little different. I just want to mix things up and get a little more creative. So I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow morning. I think I've mainly been just accessorizing. Yeah. I've seen you into watches a lot. Yeah, bro, I just got this. Which one is this? What's this? This is, um, I got this off Baiyi. You know what Baiyi is? Dude, no, I'm like out of the game like that. Yeah. It's a proxy for like, um, like Japanese auctions, like okay. mainly like Yahoo auctions. Yeah. So this is a Universal Genève from the 1970s. I got it for $65. And like, I, I look into it. It's an automatic movement and everything. Like, you see how flat this yeah. is? Like, yeah. there's a whole movement in there, you mm. know? How are you doing a lot of your research for your watches and like what's like your your like I one that you want the most? Bro, there's so many watches. I know. Dude. I, I'm a big Cartier guy, but like yeah. I can't afford the Cartier stuff. You know, I can't afford any of the watches I want, so I don't dude. have one. <laughs> but like I, I'm definitely, I think like the modern watches are pretty tacky. Like all the new mm. Rolexes that they pump mm. out and stuff. Ooh, this is pretty sick. This is a um, way to uh, the necklaces. Yeah. Yeah. This is a twist chain, the star dog tag. I just think it doesn't even look like chrome. You know. It's so like low key. Yeah, it's cool. This is the um, scroll pinky ring. So this one just sits on the pinky. Yeah. Nice. I thought that was pretty. I don't know why. You ever get worried? Or is it pretty? It's pretty firm. Like what? A bit like falling off. No, it's pretty. T I made sure it was like pretty yeah. snug on the pinky. Got you. Yeah. Dude, I guess while we're on the like sake of jewelry, if you wanted to stick to jewelry, like yeah. I brought some like, cause my family's from Burma, so like yeah. they have a lot of like. They're into like a lot of like rare gems. Wait, your family's from Burma? I yeah. thought you were just Filipino. No, dude, my mom's from Burma. Really? So her, her mom is uh, half Chinese, half Filipino, but she grew up oh, in Burma right. and she married a, a Burmese guy. Ooh, oh, this one's kind of nice. This is like classic. Yeah, this is classic. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, you know, you see this shit on the explore page. But like I'll wear like like more manly stuff like this. Yeah. But just because like being in the family, there's like a bunch of jewels. Yeah. So I just brought some just like, you know, I guess for like your channel, just to, like showcase it. And they're all like. Oh, shit. Precious like rubies from Burma. This one's pretty sick. Oh wow. These are like heirloom pieces, man. Yeah, like they don't really. I don't really wear them like that, but like, I just kind of <laughs> have them. What's the carat of gold on this? This one is like either it's either fourteen with like an extra dip, or it's yeah. like eighteen. Yeah. But like, pretty much you're not like in yeah. Asia. You're not really gonna get like ten. We, they don't really. I mean, it's gold, but they don't really yeah. consider it. Like you know. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. this is kind of like this. Can you even fit this? No, I can. But it's tight. It's more like a. Oh, you, you can like, open it. You can open it. Yeah. And then I have an Australian opal. What the heck? I've never seen that. What is this? This is just like an all gold bracelet. Like yeah. Kind of like a Cuban link. I don't know why, but like I just stepped away from like gold. gold. 
You can mix like white gold and you silver can. and okay. like you have yeah. platinum, like yeah. you know, whatever, but like gold is like let's get into the Johns. It's a little small, so I've just yeah. been like yeah. throwing stuff in there. You usually carry a bag around when you like Yeah, because like I like to like have lotion, hand sanitizer, that kind of stuff on me. And do you so. think wearing a backpack kind of like takes away from your outfit? I have the the Visvin though. So like mm -hmm. I think this is this can like go with an outfit. I don't know, with Ramones, I'm just like, I just see too much yeah. Ramones, but yeah, like, yeah. too many Ramones, but they're still cool. No, but someone someone said this, and, and I think it's it's hella valid. Like, a real fashion motherfucker, like, you can tell if they're still wearing Ramones, because it's like, no matter what kind of scrutiny Ramones get, like, if you really rock with them, like, you're still gonna put that shit on, you know what I mean? Alright, let's jump yeah. into the Johns for okay. this time. Yeah, alright. This one is a Dark Shadow from... I think it's 15, 2015. Really? Um, oh, I think I've seen you wear this before. Yeah, I think I wore it on one of your vlogs, or the vlog that we did. Um, and then, like, the back is pretty clean. Okay, no, I, I like that. I like that element, element too. Um, but, like, whenever I wear it, people are like, yo, what do you, what do you want? The, the zipper is, like, a little off center. Yeah, it's a little off center, and then it's just a good piece to kind of add dimension to your. Do you ever use your, this? Silhouettes. Just like nah, I don't really patch it. I just kind of leave it bare. I mean, I don't even really use the pockets. Either. I just look at. I just like the way it looks. You know, this I'll thing sell looks it. Really and To tight. be honest, I will sell it for like steals. I really yeah. don't care. Like, you could offer out. Is this dark it. shadow? No, this is mainline. This, this is mainline line? dirt. Forget yeah, the spring summer. I think it's spring summer. I don't know. But like the the, the fabric's really interesting. Yeah. You know, the, like. Oh, it's really it's light. It's for sure spring summer. It's kind of like, like yeah, it's, it's a little stretchy. Yeah, athleisure. If if this fit, I wear it all the time. Uh, but it does it's just way yeah. too tight. Like I like this one because it's not like too drop crotch. It's yeah. Pretty, yeah. No, I don't. I don't rock with the drop crotch. I guess we'll keep going on through yeah. it. But I think I wore these two. But like, I think they're cool just because of like the fabric. These are like dark shadow Tyrone cuts. It's kind of cool. They have like that. It's like the Creech cargo material. But they, okay. Like, stitched it on and then, like it's a bunch of like, different a holster. Yeah. Just doing a bunch like and they honestly have like a little bit of a stretch to them. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting. Oh so, like, okay. Yeah. But, the waist is a little elasticated. And this is one of those pieces where it's like you want to do something extra. Oh, you still have this bomber? I do, because I don't oh, know shit. what to do with this. So if yeah. you if you want it, just come on and offer. That's the <laughs> that's the Cardi the Cardi bomber. Yeah. It's so, or not even a bomber, it's just a puffer. It's a puffer. It's a puffer. But like it's cropped. I think it looks cool. Can I, can I try this Yeah, absolutely, actually? dude. Just try it. dude. You can try any of this stuff on. I don't, I don't even think I don't care. It's like weird. It's this size I only weird. have one pair of pants. It looks good on you. And you they're size <laughs> I'm gonna throw you the most disrespectful <laughs> lobe. I think it looks better like unzipped. Yeah. But like it's warm though. It is really no, warm. No, it's, it's definitely warm. I definitely yeah. wanted a, a Rick puffer. I just like wasn't down to drop like. There's no pockets on the sides, but it's more, oh, fashion God. It's more fashionable. Yeah. Like, it's more, and it's cropped too. I just so. realized there's no pocket. Yeah, which is kind of weird, which is why yeah. I think that it looks better like unzipped. This one's this is, super yeah, cropped. Yeah, this is um, dirt too. 18. Uh, it's called like the Little Joe jacket. Yeah. So it's like a crop. Um, it looks like a worker jacket, or, but like the sleeves are super long. And it's like cropped and um. Dude, the sleeves are. There's, so they made like long. different iterations, like yeah. grays and leathers and stuff like that. But this was like the first one. The yeah. sleeves are long, but like yeah. because of the body, it makes it just look like yeah. You know, because it's so cropped in the yeah. body. Um, the way they did it on the runway was they put like super. I don't know what you call it when it's like high waisted pants, yeah, and then like cropped at the kind of like the, at the ankle. So that's a cool way to wear it. Um, it's just high waisted, and like high waisted, because it gives, because it makes the proportion look different, right? It's like your mm -hmm. body cuts here, mm -hmm. but the the waist is like up here, so yeah. it like so it makes your torso look yeah. really short. Yeah. Another way is just like keep it simple. Like you can, since it's so cropped, you could maybe wear something bad here and then like yeah layer with something like this would be easy to layer with because it's so thin right so what's cool though is like it's low key right it's like yeah. everything is everything is pretty like standard worker jacket but what's really cool is like you still get the long sleeves yeah you can literally like just flip it up and make it into like a whole nother like right it's a totally different it's a totally look different look now it's not really a worker jacket this is also a really interesting um so uh because the shoulders are so narrow and then like the yeah. bodies um, and a really cool, and it's on both sides too. Yeah. And then um, the sleeves, if you want to feel the sleeves, like it's very comfortable. Well, you could uh, wear this every day if you wanted yeah. to. That's one probably that we'll just I'll just keep. Yeah. All the other stuff I've been showing, like 
Yeah. The vest I'll keep, but like everything else, like the pants and like the other Yeah, because you've been trying like, to move the puffer for a while. Yeah, dude, I don't even like, these ones I like a lot. These are like the bondage ones. These are like pretty, I don't know, a lot of people like, they're like modeled after like parachute, like flight yeah. kind of stuff like that. These are interesting. Do you know what year they're from? Oh three. Oh three. I don't know if it's autumn, winter, or spring, summer. I don't remember. I like. I, I mean, even that. finding the years sometimes yeah. is already. Yeah, run us through the fit real quick. This is just like uh, dark shadow. I don't know what the pants are called. They're just like super baggy, yeah. super long. They're kind. Of, I just wear them all the time, like around the house. They're yeah. just chill. This is like a the hundred percent cashmere hoodie that I got on sale. Sheesh. Yeah. That's nice. Only thing is like cleaning it is just yeah a hassle and like you kind. Of, you can damage the cashmere pretty yeah, quickly, yeah. which I think that like I feel like this was softer when I first got it. But how did you? How have you been washing it? Did boy, I, boy, I shouldn't. That's it. You want to know? I just I'm like an idiot if I tell them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to like dry clean it. I was like, dude, yeah. I can't. Come on. I was gonna take some stuff to the dry cleaner, and then I heard that the dry cleaner they outsourced the dry cleaning to somewhere else. That's weird. And I was like. Then you're just the middleman, you know. Like, <laughs> so, so my clothes are gonna go bread, to making some. That bread. <laughs> my clothes are gonna go to some random like yeah. dry cleaning factory, and like no one's gonna like pay any attention to it. And it's just gonna be, like, I don't, I don't want to do that. I yeah. got really into Hanmiel Meister, and I was just doing like research on like Antwerp Six, and yeah. out of, out of them, like, yeah, she's the coolest to me. But I think Andy is pretty like sick, and these ones are like, I got these off Silver League. Oh, you got them off of Silver League? Yeah. And, like, these ones are rare, but the condition that they had them in was, like, perfect. So, a lot of the times you see, like, this get yeah. stressed, or, like, this strap is, like, yeah. something's wrong with the bottom one, so these are all in good condition. Yeah. For these, they're more, like, kind of boot cut. They're mm. not so, like... I like boot cut. Yeah. They're, like, well, they kind of, like, flow off the off the shoe a little bit better. It can be, like, a... <laughs> Yeah, has to get them on, but like you see how it's like. Oh, you got two buttons. Yeah, two buttons, but the way they kind of like. Yeah. You know? I don't know. So another Andy Miller Mister blazer. It's like a I don't know what year it is. I think it's older, but I just like how it's very uh, slim fitting and uh, don't really fit me like that. Uh, so <laughs> off of me. Um, but yeah. Wait, this doesn't fit you anymore. It's really tight, bro. What I really liked about this piece, though, is they're usually like a lot of our pieces. They come with this strap. I put it in one of the bags, but yeah. like it will like you can oh, cinch it through, oh. and like it will kind of give you it like just another down. kind of hangs down. Yeah. But what I like about this piece is the fact that you can put it up, and it becomes like a whole oh, new jacket. Because this nice. isn't your typical blazer. You know what a blazer? Yeah. You'll see like maybe two, like one to three buttons depending yeah. on like the cut. Yeah. This one has like it going straight down. Yeah. yeah. And nice. the pockets, um. These ones aren't functional, but these ones are. Is this also Andy? This is Louis Vuitton. Oh, this is Louis Vuitton. This is, this is the suit that uh, I got from uh, when I used to work there for like a huge discount. Just a double-breasted coat, um, and then you have the suit pants to match. The function out. Uh, nah, just the inside pockets. Yeah. Just the inside pockets. And the lapel's cool. I think the lapel's pretty cool. Yeah. Louis. What are the... What, oh, is this Laura Piano? Um, you probably know better than me, my brother. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, wow. Jack is just standard. standard yeah, it's calm, it's calm. Yeah. This is Hetty era Saint Laurent stuff. Compared to oh, this to is the actual. Oh, nice. this is fire. Yeah, and like, if you feel the fabric, it's a, it's really thick. So when you put it on, oh my God. you don't need anything. You don't, like, yeah. a sweater can be a lot, especially yeah. if, if it's slim on you. This is tough. This yeah, is this one is like tough. really one of my favorites. This is something that is probably I'll keep. Yeah. Just because, um. As long as you know, I don't get too swell. But yeah, you make it yeah, because like the yeah. shoulders are pretty narrow. Yeah. So For this kind of stuff, seam running yeah. through, that just makes a big. And like the way it's like the way the sleeves like it just cuts yeah, like nice. Yeah, no, so. this is this is hitter. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is stunning. At the time, like Hetty was going crazy. Yeah. Like denim was going yeah. insane. All his boots were like. How going... do you feel about like his Celine stuff? I think he has his style. Yeah. You just know like if he goes to Celine, if he goes to this yeah. brand. You just know it's it's his yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it would be cool to see him do his own like his own brand. His own brand. You know, That'd be you hard. know, uh, yeah. Phoebe Philo just just okay launched her own label. Yeah. A bag from Phoebe Philo is like the price of a Birkin. Bag. See, I'm not paying it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm not, yeah But I'm no. like, I get why I you would do, I get why you would do it. Like, go get your money. Like, yeah. okay, whatever. It's a business at the end of the day. Like, Sheesh. like if you want a leather jacket, I think like yeah. you can't. It's just like this is like what you're really like. Sheesh. So it's like, you know, your classic moto, yeah. like, leather jacket. The leather looks nuts. Nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to... That's the a good hardware, way to... too. Yeah. And then, like, you know, you get the little belt with, like, the classic belt on. Yeah. I like how the lapels are, like, 
my mind. This like, thing is heavy. Yeah, it's too. heavy too. And the thing is, like, over time, like, I don't wear it as much as I'd like to. I'm yeah. probably gonna start like really rocking it, yeah. but um, because it doesn't get softer over time. Right. I was gonna like, say it yeah. doesn't look like it's broken in. No, I don't. I don't wear it that much, but like, yeah. it's, it was a gift. <laughs> it was a crazy gift. <laughs> crazy gift. But That's a, I mean, yeah, and like, I don't even. Shame. I'm not like you know. I'm not. Get, I'm not going to buy, sell, and getting this stuff. Like no, but, no, no. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this a lot. I'm just like, there's just like I need to get rid of so much other stuff. Get a nice Jeez. little pocket. Oh. It's a uniform piece. It's like um, when I work there, they. I thought uniform stuff. You have to return it after you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, is that it, a rule though? Or no? You have to return it. Yeah. Um, my friend, who I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna give it to her. She's yeah. gonna return it for me because she's yeah. like she. What's the point of you coming all the way down to the city again? Yeah. So she um she took it from me and she was like, they never asked for it back, so I'm just gonna give it back to you and like they just never asked for it back. So Oh like, shit. Let me see. Yeah. So what do you, how do you use this? Oh you, you put a belt through it. Belt through it. And mm -hmm. it just sticks on your belt. And it is convenient. I just don't wear it. Like if anyone wants to offer me. Yeah. <laughs> says, Bro, how this is the employee stuff. understandable. Yeah. Yeah. And like, um, the employee stuff is not the best quality comparatively to the actual really product. yeah there's there's variation their stuff is made in like france italy spain and the u.s but i don't even they might they might source this like they make that in the back asia maybe i don't know where they, they actually make get that in the <laughs> leftover scraps the but like, i don't even think this is leather really i don't i don't think so i think it's a fake leather and this is just plastic but i mean he was doing this actual hard this is the cool part because he was actually doing this hardware on the real stuff at least you guys were getting like yeah you're getting cool, cool stuff. stuff i mean there's a monogram so yeah like, it's, it's cool it's cool yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a guitar at home too. I, yeah. it's, it's just you have to focus on one instrument first, and then get fluent, and yeah. then you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also play like the MPC, which is like a drum machine. Um, you that's said, how you, what would you say? You're an MPC? Like, no, <laughs> I play the MPC M, but oh. I'm a fan. But yeah. So special edition Doc Martens. Oh yeah, those look good. Yeah. This is basically TikTok content, but like I am extremely happy with like how well he did because oh my god, bro, these are fire! I'll actually wear them now. It's not a new purchase or anything, and it's not a pickup per se. Um, if you guys can see, I've been wearing the gold hoops because basically my Homer hoop earrings were like loose, just the right size, to the point where I almost lost it a couple times, like when I was in Korea and then like, you know, just falling off, you know, and these aren't cheap, you know, price wise, they're not cheap. Quality wise, mm, there they are. Now I can finally put these back in. I'm actually running late because I am going to a archive store. It's just out of the owner's like place, I think, similar to Coup de Gras. This is just some good content, I think, so I figured some of you guys will definitely appreciate this. I finally managed to sell the Issei Sport Charlene jacket. I think that jacket is actually beautiful and you know, it's made with premium materials. It's quality, it's a heavy, heavy jacket. I sold it for a very low price, but hopefully the next person can enjoy that. I'm Chris, uh, this is my shop on realism in Chicago. It's been kind of with me through some moves. Yeah. I started doing it in college and it has evolved into this. The store Instagram is at unrealism underscore archive. This is probably one of the coolest things I have right now. Is this that is Hyder? a piece that I, yeah. yeah. This is from fall 2017, it's called the Tintoretto Coat. Made famous by any number of big Hyder fans. All of the detailing around the, um, the, the sort of like burned portions here is yeah. incredible. Wow. This is also the coat that was responsible for the sort of backlash that Hyder yeah. got after his Gaultier show. Oh, I'm so out ago. of the loop with 
with uh, any controversy. This, this is like some either. some niche stuff. This stitch detailing is the signature of this 90s Belgian designer, Yergi Persoons. Okay. One of the looks from the Gaultier show was pretty transparently ripping. Okay, um, so he's being called out for plagiarism. Yeah, yeah. And it's, I mean, I, yeah. I think it was a bad choice by Hyder. I think that the use of the nervous stitching in the, the yeah. fall 2017 collection, I think that this is pretty innocuous. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, it is taking a reference, but I think it's taking the reference in a pretty normal designer fashion way. Yeah. The Gaultier show, that one was pretty egregious. Regardless <laughs> of all of this lore, this yeah. is an incredible coat, and no, I is... really wish it would fit me. If, if somebody has a smaller size and wants to trade it to mm -hmm. me, I'm, I'm my DMs And are what open, size is this? This one's a 48. Okay. Um, it fits, like, definitely like a medium. You can see, like, it's it's coming out over my okay. shoulder definitely more than it's supposed to. If you yeah. look at a comparison of any of the other people who have this coat, it tends to fit them much yeah. closer to... It almost looks like you have, like, some shoulder pads exactly. or something. Exactly, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it has a very... Uh, it has a lot of structure to it. I mean, another highlight that's right behind it, this is from uh, Margiela's Hermes collection, and it is basically a very thin polyester that's mm. water-resistant. And the intention is that you wear this over another coat. It's shown on the runway yeah. over a like sort of leather robe coat in a very similar cut. Um, and it's water resistant. So it protects oh, wow. your uh, like non-water resistant outerwear. We're wear talking about this, right? Yeah, This yeah, is water yeah. resistant? Exactly. It does a good job of like embodying Margiela's ethos at Hermes. Mm -hmm. We're like, is these very intelligent things that are innovative, but are also very subdued and very practical. That work at Hermes, which like contrasted pretty significantly from his more kind of like creatively, conceptually driven stuff that he did under his home, under his own name, it yeah. really demonstrates why Margiela was such a talented designer himself. Yes. I was talking about some of this stuff with regards to like the, the quiet luxury stuff that mm. is really and trendy I, nowadays. I hate that phrase, I, quiet luxury. It's, it's frustrating because it's like, this is how you do minimal. Yeah. Like it is minimalistic and you yeah. look at the runways and they are very muted, but there is a lot of innovation and a lot of like Definitely. distinctiveness to these yeah. clothes. What's your like end goal with uh, the store? Do you want to be in like an official space? Like, uh, Probably not. I mean, I think that especially in Chicago, which is in general, yeah. this kind of like in-person retail experience is a really difficult thing. In the meantime, it's definitely been a good way to fuel my investment in fashion. Mm -hmm. Have you checked out Coup de Gras? I'm friends with Casey, so okay. I've, cool, cool, cool. I've hung out with him a couple of times and we talk every once in a while. Yeah. Um, he's a nice guy. We have yeah. like some amount of overlap in the types of things that we're selling and then a good amount that's pretty separate, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, cause I'm nowhere near as deep into Raph as he is. Yeah, he's got a lot of Raph. Um, I guess the one other thing that's maybe worth showcasing here. Um, so these are both from Rick Owens' Revlon when he was okay. designing for this French furrier in the early 2000s. This was like one of his kind of big breaks early in his career after he was in Paris. Yeah. If you want the really deep dive on all of these things, the best place to go is Rick Owens Forever on Instagram. It's okay. a page run by a friend of mine and it's the best like Rick Owens history page. So these are two pieces from when Rick was at Revlon. This coat is from fall 2004 and then this vest, I want to say it's from 2005, something like that. Um, the coat is cashmere Okay. and it has this sort of like raised seeming detail mm -hmm. around the collar. It's like a robe. Yeah, 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 a robe-like kind of feel. This piece I'm, I'm I'm more eager to talk about. So it's a it's a snakeskin vest. Um you can you can feel the texture of the scales like it's wow. It's 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 really cool, but my favorite thing about this piece is this like incredibly I would almost call it disrespectful decision to make the closure threading this tab through here and tying it around in the back. Oh, okay. And so you so get this draped this... neckline. Yeah. And it feels so absurd to make this incredibly delicate, flaky snake skin yeah. have to thread through a very tight hole in order to close the vest. And this sort of like really casual indifference about these incredibly luxurious materials, I think it's something that is characteristic of Rick Justin generally, but is 
what makes his work for Revlon in particular so special because, you know, most fur, most yeah. snake skin is, people are very fussy about it. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I have to like go take my coat to the furrier every year to make sure it gets cleaned. And, and Rick's Revlon is basically just, these things will get destroyed and that's mm. the point. So it's, none of your actual collection is here, right? No, my, my wardrobe is in the other okay. room. I don't want to like intermix the right, things right. too much. Oh yeah, this is the stuff I asked you to set aside. Obviously, like, you know, everyone's seen this one before, mm -hmm. but a lot of the Lang stuff, I think it's very easy to write it off as yeah. everyone's seen this before until yeah. you actually have it in hand. The fit is perfect. Yeah. Like, and it, it, this fit me well, like even wearing it two sizes up just because mm -hmm. of how well cut it was. The only issue was where the elbow sat. Cause I, I always the, see this in like a size small. So like seeing a yeah, large. Yeah, or in is... women's sizes mm -hmm. too. I mean, mm -hmm. I have the re-edition one right there as well. And just uh, like the difference in the fabric quality is, yeah. is absurd. I think even the reissues stuff has like some like aftermarket value now yeah yeah like, yeah people still want the look and like will sacrifice some amount of yeah. quality and and some of the reissue stuff is fine the the like silk blend like it has a very subtle effect i like, really like the pockets they're just yeah yeah they almost the, look like they're a little detached it well it's like uh more like a like a tailoring style pocket yeah. like a denim pocket almost yeah i think those I the fuchsia shown. leather the fuchsia oh leather yeah these pants are, are these are ridiculous the barbie premiere pants yeah, these are just insane yeah i mean when when lang did color yeah it was always very intentional and you see um, a bunch of fuchsia in like peter doe's uh, yeah yeah Peter Doe definitely picked up on like this color and mm. then the yellow were mm. the two big ones. I think that the execution was lacking, yeah, but I think Peter Doe, that right? the, yeah, yeah. The, the homage was definitely there. Like back to the collection, I think Peter Doe was just like too like direct with his like homage. I think like it, it just wasn't tastefully done. I think it fits really nice and- Yeah, the lighting is- <laughs> like the video uh, is just gonna be like completely uh it's all good unfortunately i didn't walk away with anything i thought i was for sure leaving with the the brown silk denim but the tags on helmet stuff is very inconsistent i'm wearing a pair of the white uh, denim and there are 32 they fit like a 32 or even like a little looser some stuff 32 fits like a 30 so it's almost a luxury to be able to try on something before buying it because if I had just ordered it I would have been like holding on to pants that like didn't fit me and I would have to sell it again so be sure to check out his Instagram check out the store if you're in Chicago reach out and make an appointment or something Nice, I like the shape. It's bike kids. Mandarin, tamarind, buttercream. I've had this before. I'm still adjusting to crawling into a smaller vehicle, but yeah. Came out. Picked up some beans, even though it's mad brick out. 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Since we're in the Fulton Market, West Loop area, gonna swing by Sovereign and uh, Notra because their Black Friday sale is still going on. I'm more interested in going to Notra because I had them set aside something for me like weeks ago and I think they were doing like a pre-order so nothing was actually in hand. So I'm hoping that it's in store and they just like forgot to like contact me or something. So we do not, uh, the round. 50 off's a good deal. Got the Gore-Tex too. There's literally no collab. All it says is Margiela 6. And the white one? Why is this tea like $600? I don't get it. Those are cool. Mm -hmm. uh. It was a rather quick in and out. There wasn't a lot of stuff left over because I think their sale's been going on for like two or three days 50% off 
of uh, the Boris Solomon stuff, 50 off the Our Legacy, 50 or 60 off Namacheco. Like, there's deals. You just gotta be on top of that much earlier. Like, this is the tail end of the sale. So, I like that they gave us like the the flyer with like a breakdown of the the discounting for each of the brands. I thought that was really cool. Right now, we're going to Notra and it's probably gonna be another like in and out type deal. The Sean's, I think they're nice. People on TikTok keep hyping them up. I still think mine are a better color. It's on Chico's house. Yeah, it's on Chico's house. Yeah, it's pretty basic. It's two thousand dollars for this. I think the Brooklyn and stuff feels nicer than this. Left empty handed because there just wasn't much. I'm becoming even more picky about the things I buy, so unless it's like fire, for lack of a better word, like I'm not buying it. I don't know what's going on with the A6 Novalis pants. That's the item that I asked them to set aside. It still hasn't come in yet after like weeks and weeks. Even the, the Auto 958 A6 came in, but pants haven't so it's really really strange I'm starting to think they're never gonna come in to be honest iPhone 15 Pro, I pretty much upgrade every other phone, so this is significantly lighter than the 13 Pro, which is what I was using, and um, the camera is supposed to be a lot better. Changing to USB-C just makes a lot more sense, especially because I have other products that use USB-C, like my Sony XM5s. Very happy. Another pickup. Another busy day. I'm just packing these Rick glasses that I just sold. The Rick Jones, they're pretty new. Only wore them like less than five times. And since everything's already paid for, I'm gonna just toss in the box. Look at this. I sleeved the cloth. I put it back in its like original packaging. Even the arms are sleeved. Today's the day. Gotta return this. Had it for about three weeks now. So about a month almost, and it's been really fun to drive. Damn, that boy nice. We right here with it though. So yes, the window has been fixed. It's definitely cold out there. Kind of nasty out because it's like rainy and gloomy, but I'm really looking forward to this omakase and it's a $50 lunch omakase at this place called Jinsei Moto. I never heard of it. Nate scouted this place out, but $50 for their lunch omakase, and it is only 10 pieces, but I'm expecting it to be a very solid experience, so looking forward to that. Hey! We just got out of the omakase and I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten. The first three or four pieces, the rice was just super dry, like it was lacking the vinegar mix that they, they make or whatever. 
and then also the the fish was like razor thin like we need a thicker piece of fish it was just, it's like am i eating fish or am i eating rice it was just like kind of rushed also because you're putting one piece in your mouth and then he's got another one and he's already working on the one after that so it's just a little rushed to be like considered a true omakase i think i i give it a 6.87 around yeah. that range yeah for how much it costs yeah for sure 100 yeah. percent. i paid for what i got for yeah. sure yeah yeah, yeah yeah but again to Jin's point it was definitely rushed um the rice, the rice definitely makes a difference in your yeah. how your sushi tastes yeah and i didn't get that much i didn't get that much i need Enhance or crazy flavors for right. the sushi. I was expecting a lot more. Right, right. But again, I paid for what I got. For that price point, can't really complain. But nothing innovative, I would say. They're, they're, they were not doing anything groundbreaking by any means, and it was kind of just like I would say it was a little mediocre. Like there's there's a lack of like mastery. It wasn't a refined menu. I don't think. No, no. Like adding honey on top of the tamago was kind of like. That was kind of abysmal for for me at least. I thought that was like, come on, like we're not doing that, you know. I just got back from the omagase and I see a package all the way from Nippon. This is from an auction and it got a little sweaty. I have to say, it's a bomber from like the 80s or 90s. It's a Concord, not an Alpha Industries. It's pretty pretty nice. Pretty reminiscent of the Balenciaga one. Rather, it should be the other way around. I don't have an olive bomber. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Cropped in the body. I would say this is the same fit, you know? It's freaking nice. For $97. I feel like it shouldn't cost that much, and I feel like whenever I buy vintage and I have to sell it back out, I never, never am able to recuperate the funds, so. That's why I tend not to buy vintage, but it's either 97 or 1600. Check this out, cause I think this is very sick. This is a vintage Omega, hence why the box is so old, but it's nice to be able to get the box. I feel like getting papers in boxes is just like really hard to come across. So getting the boxes, you know, let's start with this actually. So two boxes, this, is the extra strap that comes with the watch. So, let me just take it out real quick. Original Omega strap. There's a date in here, 1974. This is a stunning, stunning watch. It's really tiny, like, look at this. This is how tiny it is, but perfect for, you know, a lady's wrist. This is an Omega DeVille. Automatic movement for how tiny this case is. Pretty sick. What do I have here? The Weedy Convertible Weekender Duffel, which has finally been sold. I really do like this thing. It, it just didn't make sense for me to keep it because it's, it's not cheap. I don't use it enough, so it'd just be better for me to upcycle, reuse those funds for something else. With the sale of this bag, now it's time to purchase a big grail. Maybe it's time for the, dare I say, Astro. We're going to Second Street because Chicago's finally got a Second Street. I used to go to Second Street all the time when I uh, lived in Tokyo. Since then, which is like, which is crazy, like 2019, I have not stepped foot in a second street. I haven't checked out any like in New York or any of the other places that I've traveled to. I don't know what to expect from this store because stores in Chicago tend to cater to people that center their outfits around like sneakers and like vintage tees. So I, I'm not expecting a whole lot, but I don't think a lot of people know about this new second street yet. So I just wanna go through and see what they got. What is this? La Mer? It's nice color. It's big as fuck though. No, like what the fuck is this? Like Raph Simmons Smiley? What is this? We got some backpacks here. Supreme, Alix. This is some re-edition bullshit, I'm pretty sure. What's the tag though? Uh, I mean, they have another tag. Yeah, this is the wrong helmet. 
my lucky day. It's just like a, a coach jacket or something. This is too much, yeah, it's out there. It's a Miyake man. Some Rick. I don't know what that is. Is Margella? You got the Margella. Some more Ricky. What the fuck is this? What do you think of the place? Cheeks. Booty cheeks. Huh? Booty cheeks? Booty cheeks. Just walked past my high school. I'm going to the Art Institute to meet up my classmates. I'm gonna check out the Picasso exhibition. Here's my OOTD. After seeing that car accident there, I feel more willing to share. A couple days ago, I was in a pretty serious car accident. I've been driving for over 10 years. I've never had the airbags deploy. I thought I was gonna die, to be honest. I'm going straight. He's hanging a left just nails me. I'm going like over 40 miles per hour. He's gotta be going like over 20. Airbags deploy. I managed to get out of there unscratched, thank God. Jesus took the wheel that day. heading to my car now. I actually ran into a subscriber at the Art Institute. It's always cool to, to see some of you guys and like chop it up. Yeah, just the old stomping grounds, really. This is this used to be my turf back in high school. Also, I forgot to talk about these, but these are another pickup. Helmet Lang, of course. Y'all thought I was capping? Astro Parka, Autumn Winter 99, Ballistic Nylon. Look at this thing. We got the freaking leg straps on this, John. Your is lined. Everything, this is a gorgeous jacket. Size 48, the good size. Original fur, the zips here on the sleeve. Between this and the M69 flak, I might even have to say this is my favorite jacket at the moment. How long the jacket is, the material, the fur. This thing is just badass. Like, I can't believe I own an Astro now. Anyway, welcome to the outro of the video. I'm gonna run through some of the pickups that I sprinkled in throughout the video. There are some pickups that you haven't seen that arrived and I was just too lazy to showcase. So we're just gonna do like a recap. I apologize for being dormant the last couple months during the holiday season, that tends to be the case. I'm just not as active. Sorry, I left you guys out there hanging. So I'm back, it's a new year. Happy new year to everybody. Thank you for the continued support. I hope everyone's doing well. Gonna run through the Johns, some final remarks and then uh, We'll be on our way. There's no real order to this. Helmet Lang, leather, like a just a purse, bag, tote, whatever you want to call it. I got this off of Baiyi. It came with the dust bag, which I put my um, helmet duffel in. I see Helmet Lang right there. These right here, helmet as well. Crepe sole, it's kind of disgusting actually. Inside it's lined with this like fur. Size nine, perfect for the winter time, nice shape to it. These are from, I wanna say, 03? Fall, winter 03? I actually got a pair of these uh, from for the lady, so we can kind of match now, but yeah. These are just really, really cool, and I've always been a fan of this like dark raw denim wash. This is an elasticated denim, so these are really, really comfortable. Extra pocket here to stow away things like your lotions and your, or your wallet or whatever. Another pair of bottoms I picked up are these 
and look at that. Some people have a problem with calling these bondage straps, but unless you have a better name for me, we're gonna call them bondage straps. So we got just down the right leg. These are more of a trouser, like a dress pant. And then on the back, we got another, like a safety belt feature. To my knowledge, this is missing one, but I kind of like how there's only one back here. I like the asymmetrical th detail here. Everything's running down the right leg, so I had it going down this way, so I think it looks really cool. More helmet, more helmet. This is a 98 Type 2 denim jacket. I wasn't really sold on the wash, but in person, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's a size 50. If anyone has the Type 1, and I don't mean the one with like the square pocket, but like just without this pocket, if anyone has that in a 4850, hit me up because I need that expeditiously. Another trucker. This is a, I would say a Type 3 trucker. The hardware is just sick. And then it's lined on the inside this is gtr 97 this pocket right here is just i've never seen that you know yeah just uh, some details here at the cuff these pockets here they like run deep a pocket inner chest wool so nice gorgeous jacket i picked this up off of uh kissing booth 2024 all i'm wearing is helmet and vintage military surplus i really like this shoulder detail here it's a little itchy it's a little scratchy this was like where they put the price tag i just left it on there and the tag says 1987 it looks like it's from 1987 another jacket here this one is a concord ma1 bomber i think i showed you guys when i unboxed it i purchased this because I really like that Balenciaga bomber, but I'm not paying th over a thousand dollars for it. And I mean, this is arguably better, you know? And then just like some miscellaneous stuff. Uh, the ladies got my Stussy sweats and I really need some black sweats. These are from LA Apparel. They're really, really heavy sweatpants and very uh, thick and warm and just perfect for the winter time, really. I guess this is the last thing I have for you guys. <laughs> At first glance, you would think it's Bottega, but there's no tags on it. I don't know if this is like a rep or what. Just found it. Yeah, I'll just wear it to work. This is clearly like giving Bottega, even the zipper. I looked up pictures on it. The back here. I'm pretty sure if it were Bottega and the tags are missing that this should be touching, but you know, whatever. I'm not flexing this as Bottega. I just wear it because I think it still looks good. It has a nice cut to it, cropped in the body. The sleeves are a little longer and pretty warm too. So that's it for that. I have a lot of accessories, but I think this video is long enough. Got a lot of chrome. This is new actually as well. Picked it up in Korea. These, uh, this is custom. My birth year is on here. And uh, this is um, Gunther. They're based in Portland. I learned about them because I was looking at the, the Greg Ross collection and then they collaborated on some jewelry. I am gonna make uh, like an accessories video in the near future this year 2024 show off all the accessory glasses jewelry bracelet whatever you know fragrances i'll, I'll throw that in there too any like leather goods bags everything so uh, stay tuned for that and yeah those are all of my recent winter pickups final final remarks um again happy new year thank you to everyone that's stuck around over the course of what two three years now it's crazy that this channel has already been around for that long super excited for 2024 uh, it was a rocky ending to 2023 as you guys know and a lot of things planned for this new year gonna finish that data science program soon which i'm super excited about some light travels on the way and hopefully any of the ambiguities come to fruition. Cheers, happy new year, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.